Hey everyone, it's one of those 10 summer days here in Amsterdam, so I decided to go to the park and record this video. And you might be thinking, oh, we're in a park, must be something emotional, but of course not. I've got my laptop here. And today we're gonna see seven editor and dev tools tips and tricks. So let's get started. You're gonna see these tricks as I go through them. I won't be separating them as this is one of those tricks, this is the second one. Instead, I have a use case for you and I'm going to be walking through it in DevTools and in Sublime Text and you're going to see how it works. And you're most likely going to learn a couple of tricks. So I'm here on the list of missions to the moon, Wikipedia page. And if I scroll down over here, I see this table over here. Now, let's say for some reason you need to get a list of all the spacecrafts. Now, before I get started, there might be an easier way to get it out of Wikipedia. I'm honestly not sure. but I want to show you how to get it even if you can't really edit the page through Wikipedia's editor. So let's assume we can't do anything other than use DevTools. So I'm going to right click, inspect, and then first thing I'm going to do is try and find the table over here. So use this. So use the find element and select the table over here. Once you've selected this table over here, you can see any element you select in the console is automatically assigned to the variable $0, which means if I go to the console and write $0, it's going to be assigned to the last element I've selected, which is great. Now we need to find all the rows, so every single row, so every single row so that we can get the name of the spacecraft. So I can start with a query selector all, tr, and that's going to give me all the rows, like this one, which is great, except that we're also getting the one in the T head. So we're getting the one that shows the header of the table and we don't really need that, which is why what we want is to skip the T head and then go directly to the T body. Now that I've selected the T body, this is my new $0. So now if I run $0.query selector again, I will get all the rows. Great. Query selector all returns a node list and on the node list you can call the for each method, you can access the length property, but you cannot call map or filter because the node list is not an array. It kind of looks like an array, but it's really not an array. The only two similarities are the length property and the for each method, but also accessing, being able to access elements using the index, using the square brackets like this one. So let's say there are three similarities. So we need to convert this to an array and you just wrap it in an array and then spread the elements and that's going to convert it to an array. So we had a note list and now we have an actual array, which means now I can map over it. And if I map, I will get for every item, I want to get the text content. And <laughs> this is what we get. It's a really long list and it's not exactly what we're looking for because look i'm getting pioneer zero able one which is great but i'm also getting the launch date which clearly we don't need so let's go back so i'm getting all the rows over here so now let's go back and get the td but we don't want to get all the tds we only want to get the td that is the first child compared to its parent and this is where you can use the td colon first child selector. So the TD first child, let's make this bigger. The TD first child, I'm only getting the first child of every row. Now what I can do over here is I can call the join and then maybe put a semicolon and then I have it with semicolons but most of the times you won't really get it exactly the way you want so you would want to copy all of this to sublime text and do the edits. Luckily you can just wrap all of this and then called the copy function. So this copy function and $0 are only available in the console. And, and even though this is Chrome DevTools, I've tried the $0 on, I think, both Firefox and Safari, and I think same for the copy method. So now I just have it on my clipboard. You can see it over here, which means I can go to Sublime Text, paste, and I can do all the edits that I want. Before we do the edit, let's say for some reason, we don't really want to get any spacecraft with the name Pioneer. And for that, you want to use the filter method. So you want to filter some of the rows before you map through all of them. So we filter by the item 
and then the item we convert it to lowercase and then we check does it include pioneer if it includes pioneer so forgot the text content if it includes pioneer it's gonna return true and and just to show you if it's working let's remove the copy method this will actually include only the ones that include the word pioneer so we want the opposite of that which is why we can run it again and negate it by using the bang operator now we get all the other rows so let's put that back with the copy method oops copy now we have it on the clipboard paste it over here and most of the times you will still need to do some kind of cleanup for example over here i can select all of the backslash n so all the new lines with the quote and the comma and so that's using command d or control d there's also command control g to select all of them at once but i'd rather not use it just to keep an eye on what's happening and then i go left and then backspace backspace you could also go right and then left but my right arrow key is broken <laughs> And you should always take care of the first and the last item. These are called fence post issues. Yeah, because there's no comma at the end, we weren't able to match it. So just do it manually. Now we have all of these. And let's say you want to join it. You can take it back to the console and call the join on it because this is an array like this. And then dot join, oops, let data equals, and then data dot join, let's say comma. And now you have them in CSV. But let's say you want to do it without the console and that is also possible you just select all shift tab and that's gonna move it to the left now let's get rid of the square brackets the last square bracket and all the commas so again command d and now you can select all command shift L and what command shift L does is that it gives you a cursor at the end of every single line and now you can go right but I can't go right because of my laptop so I'm gonna have to go left and then I have the vim key binding so that allows me to jump at the end of the line but yeah just for you use the right arrow key and then put the comma I know the comma was already there but just want to show you some tricks and then you can do a backspace here so on mac that would be fn delete to have the backspace effect because if you press on delete it's gonna delete like this and if you do fn backspace it's gonna delete to the right and now you have all of this on one line you can maybe get rid of the last one and you have it in csv format so that's it for this week's video and i'll see you in the next one